Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll talk about the cyclic quadrilaterals. Cyclic quadrilaterals are quadrilaterals which are inscribed in a circle. So they are called cyclic quadrilaterals. The cyclic quadrilateral have some properties which are due to its presence inside a circle. So we can notice that the four vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the circle. From this, of course, the sum of all the angles of the quadrilateral equals 360 degrees. And if you assume that this is the center point of the circle, the measure of this angle is 360 degrees. The angle ADC here is inscribed as it's subtended by measure AC arc, while the angle ABC is inscribed to the arc minor AC as it's subtended by this arc. And as those two arcs together form the wall circle, so the measure of those two angles is half 360. As when we have an angle inscribed to a certain arc, its measure is half this arc. And so we have angle ABC half arc minor AC and angle ADC half arc major AC. So angle B plus angle D equals half 360 which is 180 degrees. So each two opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral are uh, complementary to each other so that both sum together give, gives 180 degrees. So also measure angle A and measure angle C sum together equals 180 degrees. This is the first thing. Also, the exterior angle here equals the measure of the angle opposite to its supplementary angle because those two angles together give 180 degrees and those gives 180 degrees. So, if we subtract this, we will find that ABC equals ADC. So, the exterior angle equals the angle opposite to it inside the cyclic quadrilateral. So, this angle equals angle C. This angle here equals angle B. And this angle here is supplementary with angle C, so it equals angle A. So these are the properties of the cyclic quadrilateral. And by the way, this angle is called angle of tangency because it cuts the circle at two points here while the cord passes as a tangent to the circle. And this angle equals the uh, measure of this arc here, AB, because it cuts this arc. So these are the properties of cyclic quadrilateral. What we will use this for, um, we will use this to prove the trigonometric functions for the sum or, and the difference of two angles. What I mean by this is, if we have two angles, A and B, we know cosine A, we know cosine B, and we want to get cosine A plus B, or cosine A negative B. Each one of them has 
a certain rule on, on which the sine and the tangent laws depends on. So we will know how to prove these laws in the next time. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.